guys, Cruising Koozie here. I don't know if that light's fucking anything up, but I noticed that there is no videos for Boss 302 or GT California Special. Uh, I'd say 11 to 12s, but I'm sure this could apply to a 2010 if you buy the bumper conversion with fog lights. So I haven't been able to find any videos on how to replace the bulb in this guy. I found a video similar on a 1314 GTCS, but the bumper is different, so the application is slightly different. So that's why I'm going to try and make this video for people that would rather have exactly what to do. So it might help to jack up the car so you can have a little more access. My car stock ride height, so I don't really have that issue. But I'm going to start off, I thought my flash was on, but I'm going to start off with this bolt. I might have to go further on the other ones. I believe it's an 8. I grabbed an 8 and a 10. I will confirm that in a second. Okay, well, I was wrong. It's smaller than an 8, so I'm going to grab a 7 and a 6 and see what's up. Okay, so it was a 7 mil. So, I'll start with loosening this fella, except my dumb ass is tightening it. Ah. God, this angle sucks. See, the 7 feels too big, but 6 doesn't even go on it, so sure it's supposed to be standard it's an american car but i don't have a lot of standard sets coming back to what i said before i am gonna just take all of them off all the way across because obviously i have to do both sides yeah, my car's super dirty it's been raining like crazy but yeah i'm gonna take all of them off all the way across i believe there's four or five there could be more in the back i haven't checked yet but i'll verify that I will be back once these are all out. Okay, so she didn't want to come loose, but right in this little pocket. Coming like this is the front. You just come back, it's like just shy of the tire. This little pocket right here. There's another bolt there. Then there's that one in the middle. And then same thing, there's the pocket again on the other side. So time to take those out and then you should be able to remove this panel because Right now, she don't want to go anywhere, so I'm going to grab those, and we'll keep going. So, I actually did find another bolt. It's directly behind this, right there. So, we have to grab those corners as well to drop the whole panel. Okay, so once all those bolts are out, it'll literally just pull right off. You can just kind of scoot it out of the way so you can get access up here, which... Let me adjust myself. Right there is the plug. So you're gonna wanna pull these tabs on the top out and kinda pull down. I'll get a better angle once it's out because it is a little difficult to show right now. But you can see those these little tabs, that you pull them down towards the ground, like outwards in a sense. And then you can pull the plug. You're probably gonna wanna do it with two hands so that's what, I'm gonna set the camera down for that so I can do that. And then the bulb should be able to come out. There might be a bolt right there to take it out as well. I'm not fully sure. Actually, no, I don't think I need to touch that bulb. That bolt. So after I get this plug out, I'll show you guys what else to do. Okay, so yeah, you just wanna pull these guys outwards. Try to do them at the same time and just pull them down. Be careful not to break these. These break very easily, and this is not an easy replacement. Okay, so once you're up, let's get out of my way. All right, stay in the way, I guess. So once you're on the fog light, it'll just twist. You can pull the guy out, just like that. Then you'll go grab your new light bulbs or LEDs in my case, replacing this nasty old yellow bulb with some white LEDs with these fellas. And just do the same process. Make sure the plug's facing down. You definitely want the light to be facing flat like that. Focus, come on. Yeah, so you want it to be facing like that, but the lights are on the sides. Just make sure it's facing downwards because that'll give you the best visibility. So be the same concept. Just wanna... I can't see a goddamn thing that I'm doing down here. There we go. Just gotta kind of wiggle your way 
into there because space is pretty tight down here. And just kind of have them facing towards your passenger tire and twist downwards. That's how you know they're locked in. Oops. I can't see crap. I'm literally using the camera to see what I'm doing. Just take your plug, clip that sucker back in, make sure it's in all the way. I feel like mine isn't, but no, it is. I'll double check, but that's for the passenger side and your install's literally done for that bulb. Let's go test it out. As you can see, that's the old bulb. That's the new bulb. Old bulb. New bulb. The white looks immensely better. You can see it lines up perfectly. I'll put a link in the description for those bulbs I bought. Got them on Amazon. They were honestly pretty cheap. Yeah, those bulbs were super fair priced in my opinion. So I'll put the link in the description for you guys. Sorry about that wind noise. Gotta take the keys out. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. I'll film me doing the passenger side as well. I mean, the driver's side as well, even though it's pretty much the same process. And that'll be it for your 2011 and 12 Boss 302 or GT California Special. Because we're the only ones that come from the factory with that little front fascia design. If you have the aftermarket one, I don't know if it fits the same. I'd assume so, because I think the aftermarket one is made by Ford. It just kind of pops in, bolts up. So, yeah. All right, so once you have both bulbs in, it's gonna be literally reverse what you did with the bolts. I made my like abs shake, I'm weak. <laughs> But yeah, you just do the reverse process of putting the, the skid plate. Is that the skid plate? I'm not sure. There's one behind it that covers the oil pan. So I'm going to assume it's the same concept. But just throw those bolts back in and you are done. I'm going to put a time lapse in, but that'll be it. Thanks for watching.